Welcome back to a new episode of Cheesiest Man Alive. We're starting the day off against Python and we haven't done these in a while. So I decided it's time again to start cannon rushing a little bit. Um, we actually we actually haven't done a full on cannon rush episode in a little bit. Our MMR is getting too high. So I decided, you know what, it's time to get rid of some of that MMR. I watched uh, Max Pax do a successful cannon rush against Showtime in the latest EPT Cup as well that might actually have contributed to making this decision. I really like the way he was cannon rushing as well. It looked, looked cute, it looked powerful, and I, I just like the way it looked, and that's a good thing. So um, what we're gonna be doing here is we'll go up to 16 workers. We'll hide our first worker for, I think, a little bit longer. So until now, basically, then we go up and we keep this one on the low ground. We send this one towards the high ground and we try to go for, well, it's really important that this happens. Beautiful stuff. So this is this is exactly how my good friend Max Pax would do it. GG! Just like that. The shortest game I think I've ever played in my entire life. Where my opponent realized that if I get these first three pylons up. And you're a cannon rusher. The caliber that I am a cannon rusher of. You might as well just leave the game. One minute and six seconds. One minute and four seconds, according to the victory screen. It took me two seconds to aim my head towards the timer and figure out what the actual time was. Um, but my opponent, he did not hesitate, just instantly left. And we'll be heading into our second game. He did GG. He did GG. So he is a good sport about it all. And um, that means that we're our, our GG rate over the past uh, 24 wins has actually been pretty decent. It's above 50%. I could calculate the exact percentage, but I'll tell you guys that in the next game because I'm gonna trust Google on that. Oh, dang it. I should not be doing my good luck, have fun, GG. Because then some people might figure out it's me. That's uh, something I always want to prevent. Now, we get a Zerg this time on Berlingrad. It's a 62.5% uh, GG rate that we have, by the way. So we're going to open up with a low ground pylon this time around. Now, look, I'm playing against Zerg. I I'm going to be real with you guys. I love the cannon rush, the old school way. You know, the cannon rush and build a proxy robo next to the crap that they have and all that good stuff. It's just, ever since Blizzard decided to, to nerf the batteries, God knows why they did this, um, we're now stuck with having to do like macro cannon rushes. And I know that it isn't as good, but uh, you got to blame the, the big guys upstairs for that. You know, I had nothing to do with that. So we'll just be getting a Nexus first over here. Um, get a Forge afterwards. And we're still going to Cannon Rush. I'm going to figure out exactly what the, the position is where I want to be putting those cannons. I'm going to kind of figure this out on the spot, you know, in the moment, living in the moment. It's what I like to do. Also Cannon Rushing in the moment without any preparation whatsoever. The way that David Kim intended it when he created this beautiful game back in 2010. Um, so where's our first pylon actually going to be built? Let's see. Well, this all seems like crap locations. Should have probably done some preparation, shouldn't I? Uh, well, it is what it is. It actually is what it is. Well, he's actually over here. Uh, maybe I can just get a four, four waller. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this looks like some hot garbage. Holy crap. This might actually be the worst position I've ever put a pylon in. You think he... He will buy it. No shot, right? Look at this. Mm. Uh, at least one, one cannon is going to go up. The second cannon probably also should end up going up. That one is going to go up. And we're going to rebuild that pylon. This looks like a, a, a pretty decent setup here for me. I'm not going to lie. We'll follow this up with a full wall. Yeah, maybe we build a, a pylon or a cannon before we leave it all. Do I need to finish all of these? Is now a, a, a legitimate question, obviously. No, we have to. I don't think I do. I shouldn't have let this one finish. This one is actually useless. If these are links, he will kill this position. If those are drones, I made the correct call. Okay, I made the correct call. It's always great to not know whether you made the correct call while you made it. This was... Name a more classic duo. Me and being silent when I don't want to get spotted. 
I don't think he knows I'm out on the map already. I wonder what his follow-up is going to be. I wonder if I can actually get this thing up. I can block this with a gateway. I can also build two more cannons here. Like pa pa pylons also possible, but gateway here. Sounds very nice actually. One cannon here. Then a pylon over here. Look at this. Oh, that's a setup. That's a setup. That definitely is a setup. Ooh, you need to cancel this now. But well, if he ain't cancelling, then I'm going to continue building cannons. Because this is the only base he's going to get this entire game. Look, I don't know a lot. Mm, should have cancelled that pylon. That was a mistake. I'm going to get a Stargate just for safety. I saw that. I saw that. I'm not sure if you guys saw that as well, but that was a roach that just popped. Now, he's either going to try and break this position. He is going to try and break this position. I'm not sure if that's going to work, though. But no, it's definitely going to work. Um, do I want this on the outside? I think I do. Look at this. Look at this move. Come on. Move away, mate. How fast is he going to respond? Well, not fast enough, that's for sure. Holy crap. Look how much energy I have. Should I use it or save it? Well, obviously I shouldn't save it. That was a stupid question. We're hitting uh, philosophical bedrock here. With the shovel of a stupid question. Um, I want to actually patrol this in the middle of the map. He won't have speed for his links. Who's going to take that out as well? I won't have any pylons left by the end of this, will I? Let's move across the map. If he doesn't kill my pylon in time, maybe I can... No, well, he's going to kill my pylon in time. Maybe we should not have mentioned this at all. I like the fact that I get an oracle out. That's good. Maybe I can damage the queen. Look at this. This is a move. Oh, this is not a move. This is not a move. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, this just wasn't it, was it? Do I still have a probe? Yeah, I do. So we're going to get a third base right now. And we're going to follow this up with many oracles. And not because I... Well, no, I actually do think mass oracle is kind of good in the current meta, I have to say. Um, but also because I think that if I end up getting three, four oracles here... We're just going to show two, by the way. We'll show two oracles and leave it at that. I don't... I'm super supply block. That kind of sucks. Um, one of these... They have warp it on the way? No, not yet. That sucks. Maybe, maybe I can clear this thing. It's a low hatchery, so we need to go in for a hatchery snipe in a little bit from now, that's for sure. I don't like this, you know that? Oh, he's out of position. This could have had some potential. I should have probably already been currently at his third base. Oh, 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 This I do not like, my friends. This I do not like. You will take care of that. Man. I thought he was uh, hitting this position, but I guess he wasn't. We're just going to continuously be building this crap. Then we'll see who the loser is at the end of the day. I have a feeling it's not going to be me. Yeah, he just lost everything. So I'm not the loser. The only thing I'm losing is this forge, and that's on purpose. I'm throwing that forge. I'm not gonna get paid for it though, so it's okay. Um, what else? Do we want this? Yeah, I think I do. Hop, hop, hop. Get one more over here. We're actually going in for the snipe. Now there is a... There's two ways I can do this. I can either try to distract them and then go in, or I can just straight up go in. Like kind of a caveman style. Fly in, right click the, the hatchery. I think right clicking the hatchery is better here. Holy crap! Should have distracted him. Should have distracted him. Okay, look at this. We're going to pretend to barely fly over the edge of creep. So he's like, oh, this guy's an idiot. So right now he sees this. He's going there with all of his queens. He's like, oh, probably his entire army is over there right now. Because this guy's an idiot. But then in reality... Ba -na 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 -na. The boys are back in town. Oh, that also didn't work. So distraction didn't work and the caveman approach didn't work. So we're now 0-2 in strategies. Or tactics, I should say. 
take a fourth base maybe we can at least kill this uh, hatchery okay next build or next plan okay next plan next plan next plan next plan stalkers all move towards the left side non-stalkers move towards the right side so we have six non-stalkers and these units are called oracles i could have just called them oracles uh, second force i think no yeah i do that does sound nice um okay here we go we start damaging this hatchery oh very cool what there's a fake fourth the thing about fake fort bases is that I think I can just I can just give up oh my god no 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 I could have sniped this base this was a key a, a key opportunity here for me I think I'm just gonna go ahead and snipe his base actually look at that who's the idiot now it's not me well I'm gonna get hit by that yeah that was kind of idiotic I'll admit to it I'll admit to it This control is quite good of this fellow, you know that? Is there a Nidus here or something? I have a feeling that I'm being Nidus at the same time. I guess that feeling comes from nowhere. Uh, this sucks, you know that? I thought I had him. I really, uh, for a second, I started believing again. I should have killed that third base a lot faster, though. If I take out that third base at the start, he has less units here, which obviously would have been good. Ho oh, oh. ho, I don't think so, buddy. Not liking this. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Yeah, well, I'm dead anyway. I'm surprised I managed to lose this. I thought after the early game it was quite okay, but I must not have been as ahead as I thought I was. So what was it? 40 to 42. Here the Evo went down. Still think I'm ahead, especially after this little move, because he needs to rebuild that then. The freaking fake fort base is what truly got me though. I look at that fort base and I think to myself, no shot. If I'm in position here at the start with all my units, I think I'm okay. I even saw that he had overlord speed by the way. And I saw a dropper lord. Okay, this is kind of poor scouting out of me. I was so keen on sniping this base that I forgot that he could also attack me. Then he attacked me and I died. Kind of painful. That nah, is what it is. 6-2 as well. So it's a decent zerg player. We're below 6k currently. We're gonna try again. I had the GG, so GG counter stays the same. I'll see you guys in game number three. <laughs> All right, we're playing against Ace Rider, also known as Hero Marine. This is a seven game player. It would be really nice if I could beat a seven game player with my cannon rush, but we're going to need to try proper hard. Okay, here comes the pilot. We need to hide this worker. Once again, I start whispering the moment things get exciting. I can't help myself. When I know I'm doing something that is illegal, I just start whispering. It's uh, probably from my uh, my criminal past. Something to do with it. I'll no, just chrono boost this, I don't give a crap. Um, now we're going to actually want to completely hide this one worker. Whoop. This is not a bad map for it either, honest to god. Here we go. Ace Rider. How about you ride my cannon rush, mate? Pew! All the way to the end, baby. Let's to get destroyed here. Can I wall that? Does not look like I can wall that. Oh, he's... He's proxying me. That seems to be the case. Um, going to get a cannon in our main base, and we're going to cancel that second cannon right now. That's in range of the of this building. Got a gateway over here. I mean, I know it's not the the best thing. I'm not even hitting this. 
It actually kind of sucks, honestly. Okay, what if I shoot this? Like this. And then I want to be capable of holding the ramp as well, which is actually a very important concept in this case. So I need to kill this thing, which is why I'm doing this. I need to be capable of holding ramp, or I need to be capable of walling like here. One, two, three, is that possible? I think it is. Yeah, come on. I don't think so here, Marine. Oh, we need the micro. He's going to... He's definitely going to be moving out at some point, though. Come on, buddy. At some point you're going to need to leave. Kill that, kill that. I'm still stuck down here, let's not forget about that. Okay, here he goes, here he goes. He's going to try and... Uh, Did I lose my stalker here? I think I did. Which really sucks. If I was just paying attention here, I think it might have been possible actually. I wanna kill this thing. Did he... No! Oh my god, we were so close! If I hadn't lost my one stalker, I think I would have made it, no? If I, because if I don't lose my one stalker, I have enough money to build the ramp here completely. I don't need to continuously pull this. Oh, I should have been paying attention. I wasn't. I think this was a win. If Here. Here, this was a win. I have this battery about to finish as well, like three seconds around. If I just pull these workers and send my stalker back, I have 208 minerals already. He's never getting these dudes out of here. He didn't have a starport. Oh, the game was over. I should have gotten 45 points from this. Oh, now it's a minus three. Oh. So close. Dang it. We almost had it. It's built, it's not bad. This response, well, I guess if you have a proxy Rex, um, I guess I could get a faster gateway at home maybe. He needs to leave his base quicker, that's for sure. Also, some of my cannons are a bit oddly positioned, I think. Um, like the, the, the first one, and the second one, and the third one. Maybe all of them were a little bit oddly positioned. I also could have gone for a wall on the high ground. But then I need to cover that. I think the low ground wall is probably the best. My low ground cannon wasn't the perfect position. I didn't really cover the ramp that well. Should have been one further to the right. But then there's the debris over there. All right, well, we're going to play one more, so i see you guys in game number four. All right, we immediately got our next game here on Berlingrad, once again at Terran. Berlingrad also is not a bad cannon rush map. I think I almost believe I need to send out my first worker a little bit faster to get that hidden pylon in quicker. I think that's actually the way to play it against Terran. So I send it before my first pylon. I should chrono boost this as well, by the way. I mean, why not? It's not like you want to get more workers than 16. So otherwise that first Chrono Boost is just going to be sitting in, uh, you know, chilling in the tank for a bit, which is useless. Um, we'll get the full wall with the Forge. Man, I'm still gutted about that last game. I really... Boy. Ah! Shh. That one upsets me. That one's going to hurt for a little while. Oh, come on! Wait, wait, actually... Did he give me an opportunity? No, he didn't. He did not give me an opportunity. No, this is not, this is, this is not an opportunity. I repeat, this is not an opportunity. I'd like to leave here. Good sir. I'd, <laughs> I'd like to leave this establishment. Ooh, we're alive. 
who, who builds the first pylon in that location? That is absolutely not okay. Do you know that? No! You joking? He's going to lift this up. He's going to lift it up like a massive prick. And I'm not looking forward to that. Isn't he? He's going to lift it up. Oh my god. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Going to hit me? No! I'm wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road. Right side of the road! Come on, baby. No marine, no marine. Don't pop out, baby. Don't pop out. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. One. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wrong side of the road or the right side of the road? I just know that I'm on the right side currently. We're winning. This is a win, this is a win, this is a win, this is a win. Um salad. Popping it out, baby. Popping it out. We're getting here, we're getting here. Double cannons going up. Do I need my cybercore on this side of the map? I don't actually think I do. Um, we're going to take this out. He's probably proxying a, a factory or something in my main base as well. Because this is a double gas opener. Let's not forget about that. There has to be a robo somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good, buddy. All good. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. I really do feel that. I feel that move. <laughs> I don't need this. I did what I did. I said I don't need it. I didn't make it. He's going to be mining from here, isn't he? The prick. We'll deal with him. We'll deal with him. I am not worried. We'll get a battery in here, though. If he's mining from here, that would not be good for him. But that's the closest by base. I, I can just shoot him from the high ground. Ha 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 ha. Okay, and now what? You have your bunker over here? I hope you're happy. Ooh, okay. Cannon in the ba in the main base all of a sudden sounds like that would have been a fantastic plan, huh? It all of a sudden sounds like that might have been a fantastic idea. Maybe we can kill him with a worker? Did I kill him with the probe? No. Barely did. That's going to be a cyclone coming out. We're going to uh, to one base destroy this guy. One base, three gate robo. Because all of his production is in an awkward position here. You know that? All of it is in a really awkward position. You just know there's going to be a, a cyclone popping out soon. I don't want to be leading with stalkers in that case. Does he have a second base? Okay, here he is. Here he is, here he is, here he is. He doesn't have a natural yet. I, I don't believe that. Um, the reason why I'm getting a robo is so my prism can lift the units that are being locked on. So he's going to try and chase me here. We're hiding in the bushes, like a good boy. Come here, buddy. You can start moving on the map with me as well. He's probably going to try and attack into this at some point. Because he knows that I have some type of tech here. Does he still have that bunker? I hope he sold it. Nice. So now he's being uh, assaulted from two sides. We'll get one more here. I think we can actually start moving across the map with this now. No more production for you. No more production for you. No more production for you. No more, no more. Original song, by the way. Don't want to brag, but it's pretty good, no? It is pretty darn good. Hop. Couple more stalkers. Gonna take out these. No more products for you. No more products for you. What you gonna do when they come for you? Um... If he doesn't have a tank right now, up here, he's dead. If he has a tank, he can survive. Even with a tank, it might be rough, actually. 
Where's your tank? Where's your tank? Not over here, buddy. Well, it didn't really micro anything, but doesn't matter. Nice control of absolutely nothing. It's probably still gonna get a tank now. Whoop! That's that. He's gonna get a tank. Oh, he's getting a uh, banshees. Cha-ching! I think I understand the cannon rush a lot better than I did before right now. He didn't, he didn't GG, did he? I think he forgot the GG. That means that on the GG counter, we get to add uh, one game. Sadly for him, no GG. So uh, that's nice. 15 out of 25 for cannon rushes. Ah, man, I should have beaten freaking Hero Marine with a cannon rush. I can't believe it. I never beat him without a cannon rush. And I apparently also don't beat him with a cannon rush. So at least my PVT results against him remain consistent. Um, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you had a, a brilliant time. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. There's more videos that should be popping up somewhere over there. And I'll see all of you next time for a new video. That should be tomorrow. Bye-bye.